Hi, I'm Matthew Richards Hagen with Clean and Dry LLC. I'm making this video today on behalf of Howard Partridge, his inner circle, and the Get Fit seminar we just went with Zig Ziglar live in person in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. I want to talk to you today about the five elements that make up our income statement. The first one is our gross revenue. That's also called sales. This is all the, uh, the monies that come into our business. Then we have our cost of goods sold, and this number is, of course, what it cost us to provide that service or to have those goods available for sale. So if you subtract that, then you're going to have your gross profit, and then you're going to subtract from that your overhead. These are your costs that are the same whether you do $1 in sales or you do $100 million. That's your same cost. You're going to have a secretary sitting there answering the phone whether your trucks are driving all over town or if they're parked in the shop. Of course you subtract that and then you're going to have your net profit. And this number here is what we're actually all working for is the net profit. Now I've been in business for 12 years and never in, my, uh, in the history of my business have I ever understood this or been able to apply it to my business. Howard went through a, uh, a budget with us and it changed our business. We're really excited about this year and uh, we're excited to be part of the Howard Partridge Inner Circle. Let me tell you a little story here about Sally. Sally's going to sell, see if I can make this simple for you. Sally's going to sell lemonades, okay? And uh, here's some lemonades that she's going to sell. And uh, one thing that Howard did for us is we started at the bottom line. What we wanted to end up with, add it in our overhead, and work backwards to get our gross sales figure. So we know exactly what we're headed for. Well, Sally, it costs her $10 a day. That's her fixed cost because she has a bag of ice that she carries. Now, Sally wants to make $10 a day to make it worth her while. So her, her uh, bottom line number is she needs to make $20 a day in order to make her net profit, okay, of $10. Okay, Sally's a really good business operator, and she sells her lemonades for $2. It costs her, her cost of goods sold, are $1 for the cup, and I'm just using these numbers to keep it simple for the cup and for the lemonade. Okay, how many dollars in sales does Sally have to produce and how many cups uh, does Sally have to sell in order to make her net profit goal of $10 at the end of the day? It's really very simple. If every cup brings her in $1, that's her sales less what it costs her to produce is $1, then she has to sell 20 cups Okay, 20 times $1, $20. At the end of the day, she'd have $10 to put in her back pocket. And Sally's very happy. Okay, so her sales, 20 cups times $2, her sales would be $40. Pretty simple. Now, you can use the same uh, formula to figure out, back figure what your gross, uh, gross sales need to be. Let's say you had a business. We'll just keep this simple. Let's say you have a business and you want to make $100, okay? That's what you want to take home at the end of the, at the, end of the day, okay? Now, what you figure out what your overhead is, and it, let's say it's $100, just to keep this simple. So you know at the end of the day, you have to have $200 in order to end up with $100, because you're going to subtract this. So you've got to have $200 in gross profit, okay, to subtract your overhead to have your, uh, your net profit goal in your back pocket, which is what we're heading towards. So if you know what your cost of goods sold are, you have to know that. You'll either use that uh, a formula and, and guesstimate and get closer and closer, or you can go from your records. Let's say this business, the cost of goods sold is 50%. So if they sell one item for $1, they made 50 cents to go towards their gross profit. So they, if they have a 50% cost of goods sold, how much are they going to have to sell in order to come up with $100? Okay, because they need $200 in order to make $100. So what you do is you're going to take, uh, take this number and divide it uh, by what's left over of this. So if you had 100% and you subtract 50%, you're going to have 50% of, 50 of what you bring in is going to go towards your goal. So if you take 200 and you divide by 50%, you're going to have $400, okay? That's what your gross revenue goal is for the day, $400. Let's back figure this and make sure it's right, okay? So you take $400 and half of that is going to be a, a, an expense to provide the service. So you're going to have $200 left and uh, 
it's $100 in overhead, you're going to have $100 in your back pocket. I hope this helps. Thank you very much. And we encourage you, we can't encourage you more to get involved with Howard Partridge and his inner circle. Go to howardpartridge.com and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the circle. Have a great day.